You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey everyone, I'm Renee Ritchie. And I'm Serenity Caldwell. And this is CES Live. Live! <laughs> it's a party going on right here at this booth, Serenity. It is a party. We were even dancing a little bit a while ago. It's a party and all of you were invited because we are showing off the best, the best of technology at CES 2015. And that, that's a Herculean task. It is. There is a lot to see here, a lot. But today, today, we are looking at some great Apple products. And we're looking at, we're talking to Marie. How are you, Marie? Hi, I'm good, how are you? And you're going to tell us good. all about Pronto. <laughs> Pronto. <laughs> so Pronto is actually the device that turns your iPhone or iPad into a smart remote control. Like a Ooh. universal remote? Uh, yes, yeah, similar, but it's okay. more smart because okay. now you can control it with your, yeah, with your iPhone or your iPad. So it's universal year. Um, <laughs> yes. Even more Hashtag universal. Hashtag universal year. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> so we partnered together with Peel. Mm -hmm. So Peel is actually an app application that already exists. There are already 120 million active users using these applications. And uh, so uh, the Pronto, so with the iPhone, you send the Bluetooth signal to the Pronto, mm -hmm. and then it has 360 degree infrared built nice. in. So it actually sends signals to all your entertainment devices. So not only in your TV, but also your Blu-ray player, Apple TV. So any entertainment device you can think of. That has infrared sensors. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. So what can you control with the Pronto? Um, like what, like give me an example of something that I would do on the app that would send it to my television. Like yep. select. So as you can see, here is the app. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it shows on, oh, sorry. No connection. The internet here is terrible because surprise. Everyone is using yes, it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It was all on the, the, all the so time. So basically, no a list all of right. television yeah. shows you might want to watch. Or yes. Yeah. So it actually shows you uh, which shows are on right now. So you press just with one tap, mm -hmm. and it connects you I immediately, instantly to that show. But it also, for instance, if there are shows later on that night, you can set a reminder. So it sends you a reminder through your cell phone when that show will come up. Oh, that's so awesome. So like five, five or 10 minutes before. So like next week, when I want to actually watch Agent Carter for real, because we've been at CES this week yes. and haven't been able to, I could set a reminder to watch the next the next version of, a or the next uh, episode of Agent Carter. Yes, or even a show two weeks later, so you can awesome. all set at that, yes. So one of the problems is that, uh, like you said, a lot of our home electronics use infrared, but there's no infrared built into the iPhone. Yes, that's the reason why you need the Pronto, because the Pronto actually turns yeah, your iPhone into smart remote control, because there is no infrared transmitter into the iPhone and the iPad. So and the other problem is a lot of people, uh, they like home electronics, but they try to put them in cabinets, they put them in closets, and then there's no, like infrared wants line of sight, right? It wants yes. to be close by. So I could put that near my electronics, and then I can take my iPhone where it, you know, it's comfortable, and I don't have to worry about getting up, walking over, trying to aim it. No, you don't this, need to aim thing. it at all. No, because it has 360 degree infrared. And also the nice thing about it, so uh, in the box there is an infrared extension cable included. So you can actually plug it into the device, in the Pronto. And then you can store all your entertainment devices together with the Pronto into the cupboard. And then this one you connect to the infrared transmitter on the TV. And then it can easily communicate with your TV as well. So all your devices are stored into the cabinet and it can... Nice, neat, tidy, beautiful yes. looking, yep. but still functional. Yep. The and chat room is trying to guess your accent. Some of them are saying Swiss, some of them are saying Belgian. You said Belgian before, yes, right? Yes, Belgian indeed. So what attracted you to Pronto? What made it interesting for you? So the nice thing is, so yeah, right now it controls your entertainment devices, but there are so many possibilities right now. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, we're already thinking of future developments, how we can have it more integrated into the full home experience. We control so our entire house. Yes, indeed, like lightning, um, so yeah, like and your all the door device. opening, yeah. your yep. speakers. Yes, that's well, awesome. Yep. Tele television is probably a good way to get started, right? Because yep. everybody has the stuff already, and yep. it's something fun to do. Yes, indeed. And then from there, it's one step away to air conditioners. Yep. My air conditioner has a remote control. I mean, I, 
I think my yep. mom's fridge has a remote control now. Yeah, everything has remote controls. And gosh knows, like I know, at least coming home to my parents every Christmas, I come home and I see like seven or eight remotes just yep. strewn around the room. And I just, just shake my head and go, all right, me, this is the year I'm getting you a re universal remote. Maybe maybe I can uh, look into Pronto instead. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it will be later available by the end of January here by in the US Jan. and Canada. And we plan also ex to expand in other European countries and Latin America. So later 2015. The chat room wants to know what's the advantage of using something like Pronto over just a regular remote control or a standard universal remote control? Like a Harmony remote, yeah. Yeah, so the nice thing is that it's smart, so you have always your cell phone with you. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Aside of that, also the setup is very, very easy. And also the price point is very low. It's only $50. $50 is pretty good when yep. you consider that like the harmonies and everything else is start around $75, I can't $100. even get the H on a harmony for $50. <laughs> it's true. You know what, and also the thing that you mentioned, Renee, which I really like, is the fact that you can put the Pronto next to all of your infrared devices rather than having to worry about all of them having line of sight and having to individually program them. Yep. It seems like a cool way to do it. Yep. And for me, I, I'll admit this, I lose my controllers all the time. I'm I have, not surprised. <clears throat> I have like five <laughs> Apple TV remote controllers, and sometimes I can't find any of them. But I have my phone with me all the time. Yeah. And trying to control it over Wi-Fi is just, you press the button, you wait. You try and touch it, you wait. Like, it's not always great, but the, having the phone be your remote control, I, I'm not going to lose, I hope I'm not going to lose that. I better not lose my phone. If you lose your phone, something terrible is, uh, probably happens. But you do have Find My iPhone, Renee. I do. Yep. I do, if I can find something to find my iPhone with. Hopefully you find your computer, right? Mm -hmm. So with Peel, what's the kind of stuff you like to watch on Peel? So I'm actually located in Europe. So right now, they don't have the European <sighs> TV guides in there. So I get that in Canada a lot, too. They don't say, you guys have to be international because we want your stuff. We love you so much. We want more of it everywhere. Renee yeah. is very sad that he can't get programs on, uh, on Netflix. What were you just complaining Netflix. about, Netflix. I get to America, I turn on Netflix, it's like 800 times more content. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, yeah. We, we want to watch all that stuff, too. Get the licensing worked out, big companies. Do that. <laughs> it's an internet world. So if people are interested in Pronto, if they want to find out more about it, where can they go? So we have a website already lived up, so you can go to www.getpronto.com. Getpronto.com, yes. awesome. Yep, and also on Facebook and Twitter, we are streaming all the time, live information here from CS. So they shall also definitely go there. So it's like being able to experience your booth at the show without necessarily having to be here physically in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's awesome. I think yeah. I saw a question go by, but I'm not sure who said it. Can you have multiple Prontos in your house? Yes, you can. Okay. So you, another nice feature is actually you can, as everybody has different like TVs in their home, like one in your bedroom, one in your living, one in your kitchen, you can actually, actually set up different rooms and then set up uh, all the different products per room. Nice, there you go. So you can have as many nice. Prontos as you can fit in your electronically pronto yep. house. Awesome. Yep. Thank you so Sounds much, great. you guys. It looks awesome. Go to getpronto.com, you can find out all about it. I'm Renee Ritchie. I'm Serenity Caldwell. And we will be back with more CES Live. Don't you smile at me, John P. I see you there. <laughs> Woo!